Hello, people. Welcome back. It is week seven of uh, the SPE right about here. Your uh, New England Patriots are here up against the Begone Thought Cricketots. Um, this is week seven. There's only two weeks left in the eight-week regular season. Uh, your Patriots here are five and one, which means we're we're looking like we have a playoff spot just about secured. I think even if we lose the next two games, we should still make playoffs. Um, but this team we're up against here is actually four and two. So that means they are on the cusp of making playoffs, and this is almost a must-win match for them. So this is a big one. This is a big one for sure. Um, so looking at his team, we see the Mega Tyranitar, Excadrill, Greninja, Amoongus, uh, Cinder Ace, and Dusclops. Um, so yeah, this is kind of what I was expecting him to bring, pretty much. I wasn't even sure if we'd see Mega Tyranitar, but we do see Mega Tyranitar. Uh, I'm worried about Greninja probably the most. Uh, Cinderace is also a huge problem. Um, luckily, this thing can't run Libero, and this thing can't run Protean, so they're kind of just like their normal base forms, but they're still big threats. And we do see Dusclops. I was expecting Dusclops. Um, but yeah, no Toxtricity, which is cool. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much that. So uh, looking at the team that we have here, we've got a Defensive Chestnut. Defensive Chestnut's going to help us versus Excadrill and Tyranitar immensely. Um, Zapdos has a really good matchup here. The only thing that can really shut down Zapdos on his team is Dusclops. Um, that's why I figured he would bring it. But we're bringing Agility so we can potentially get a speed boost up and outspeed everything on his team, even the Sand Rush Excadrill. Um, and then if we get that agility up, we could just sweep if we get some damage off on the Dusclops. Um, and then we're also bringing Belly Drum Azumarill, because, like, why not, I figured, you know? Um, we're, we're bringing a very hyper offense team this week. I want to just uh, set up and do a bunch of damage. So if we can get the Belly Drum off and we get damage off on Greninja, like, get Greninja, say, like, below half, um, we can probably sweep his team with Aqua Jets and stuff. So yeah, getting damage on Greninja is going to be good, and taking out Dusclops. Those are basically the main goals here. And then, to help us out with that, we're bringing a Scarf Rotom. Scarf Rotom is going to outspeed stuff like Greninja and Cinder Ace. Um, so yeah, that's just going to be good. And then we're bringing a nice Stallbreaker Drapion with Taunt and Swords Dance. This will help us break through stuff like Dusclops and Amoongus. Um, so that's pretty much the idea there. And then we're bringing in just a standard uh, Special Defensive Steelix just to help us with, like, most things. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the team. So, I kind of just want to lead with Rotom, to be honest, because it's Scarf. If he leads with Greninja, we can Volt Switch on it, which would be great. And if he leads with Cinderace, that's also great, um, because I can take hits from it, and we can just Volt Switch out on any of those things. Um, I do have to be careful with the Excadrill. I'm not sure if Excadrill will be Sand Rush or Mold Breaker. I feel like he might... Okay, so he leads with Dusclops, actually. That's totally cool. I kind of want to trick this thing immediately. That's like, uh, I'm really tempted to trick this thing. But yeah, I wasn't sure if Excadrill would be Moldbreaker or Sand Rush because uh, Moldbreaker just lets him knock out Rotom Heat in one hit with Earthquake because he can bypass Levitate. But he could bring Sand Rush, you know, just to be faster than everything. I don't know. Um, we'll have to see when it comes out. But yeah, so the Dusclops lead is here, like, I could just switch into Drapion, or I could trick this thing a Choice Scarf, though I kind of want to hold on to my Choice Scarf, um, just to have it for now. I don't know if I need to necessarily trick this Dusclops right away. Having the Choice Scarf will be nice for revenge killing stuff like Greninja and Cinderace, um, so I kind of want to hold on to it, but tricking Dusclops would make it really, really easy. So, yeah, I'm kind of torn between this play. Um, I mean, my safer play might just be some Volt switching out into Drapion. I don't think he'll Will-O-Wisp in front of a Fire-type. If anything, I don't know what he's going to do here, to be honest. He might just Nightshade or something, set up a try to Toxic me. Uh, do I trick? Is it worth it for me to lose my Choice Scarf this early on. I mean... 
I mean, Greninja is a problem either way. I mean, I don't really have great switches to Greninja. Um, this is tough. But I know that, like, if I weaken this Dusclops immensely, I can potentially win with Zapdos. Like, that's kind of what I'm eyeing right now. Um, so I could go for that, I think, might be better, rather than... Let's just trick. Let's just trick. I'm just going to trick. Because he's not going to expect it, right? Cedo's just Nightshade. Okay, cool. So we take Dusclops, is it Violite, and we give it the Choice Scarf. That's great. I'm going to Volt Switch now. That does, see, that does a lot of damage now that he has no more Violite. So this thing's going to be a lot easier to kill. I'm going to go into Drapion here. Hopefully, he doesn't Will O Wisp. He just Nightshades again. Okay, that's totally cool. Totally cool. No problem there. Um, and now I'm just going to fire off a free knockoff. This knockoff is a very free. Um, so Dusclops is really no longer a threat. Um, it's choice scarfed. It's slow as shit. Um, it's not very bulky anymore because it lost its Violite. All it can really do is quick Nightshade. And it can't heal. Um, okay, so he makes the Tyranitar play. That's valid. Uh, he's definitely a Mega. So you can't knock off his Mega Stone. Um, I am just gonna make the Chestnut switch. I think it's fine. He could carry like Fire Blast or something. Um, you know, I, I I acknowledge that he could be carrying like Fire Blast or something. But like either way, I think Chestnut is our dedicated answer to this. So we're just gonna switch into it. Um, you know, I know that in the past he likes to bring like Dragon Dance, the Tyranitar, which is like a huge threat. I don't want to really mess around with that like at all. But yeah, I feel really good about crippling dust clops immediately. It's no longer a concern for me. I think Zapdos can break through it now. I'm just it just sucks that um so it sets up stealth rock, that's fine. It sucks that Rotom Heat lost its speed with the choice scarf. Um so now it can't outspeed Greninja or Cinderace, but like it's still not a huge deal. I think we can still work with um, so he just sets up Stealth Rock there. I mean, I don't have any hazard control, so there's nothing I can do about that. That's totally fine. I'm not sure what he's going to want to do here, but I doubt he stays in, right? I find it highly unlikely that he stays in, because I can just kill him with a fighting move. Um, he could go back into the Dusclops on the fighting move, or he could very easily go into a Moongus. Um, I kind of just want to spike. I think spike is a good play. His whole team is grounded, so his whole team will take spike damage, which is fantastic. I'm expecting either a Moongus or Dusclops here. But then I can follow that up with a taunt. I can taunt a Moongus um, or Super Fang it, really. Either or. I'm going to click spike. A Moongus is kind of annoying, though, because Spore is a thing, and... Um, like, Chestnut doesn't really want to stay in on a Moongus if it goes for, like, a Poison-type move. I am Bulletproof, though, so I'm immune to Sludge Bomb. But it could have, like, uh, Acid Spray or, like, Clear Smog. I don't know. Does it get Sludge Wave? Probably. He's actually thinking about this one. I doubt he stays in, right? He could have the Fire Blast, though. He, he very well could have the Fire Blast. It might be safe for me to just click Drain Punch, but I'm at full HP. I'm not really concerned. I know I can live a Fire Blast if he does go for it. And I might outspeed this if he uh, is not running any speed, but I don't know if he will. Actually, I don't know. Did I speed creep on this? I don't, not, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. So, oh, we see Cinderace. Okay. That's fine. Um, Cinderace is here. So the thing is, actually, um, a Bulletproof, my ability, actually blocks Pyro Ball. I don't know if he knows that. He might not know that, but um, yeah, Bulletproof actually blocks Pyro Ball. But if he knows that, he's probably just running Flare Blitz or something. Um, and he could just like do a bunch of damage to us here. So there's that. But he could also just click Zen Headbutt. But I can live that, because I'm max, I'm max defense, right? I'm literally max HP, max defense. Um, 
So if he goes for Pyro Ball, we're immune. If he goes for Zen Headbutt, we'll live. The only thing that can really potentially take us out is Flare Blitz, if he has it. Um, alternatively, my other play here would be switching into Rotom Heat, but then I have to take Stealth Rock damage. And I don't think I could take... I, I don't think I could survive two attacks after taking Stealth Rock damage with Rotom Heat, because then I'm coming in at, like, 55%. So I think I do just stay in here and I Drain Punch. Um, if he goes for Pyro Ball, that's best case scenario. Um, yeah, having the spike up is great, though. Having the spike up is great. I think I'm just gonna Drain Punch. He Gunk Shots, okay. So, that's fine. I mean, Gunk Shot did 47%. We can take another one of those. That's probably the best thing he has to hit me. If he doesn't have Flare Blitz. Um, is Gunk Shot, so that's good. Um, I can survive another one of those, and the, the Drain Punch Recovery might put us in range of surviving another one. I don't know. But that's pretty good. Do I? The question is though, do I want to let Chestnut get weakened? Because then it, it kind of leaves me, if Chestnut potentially goes down, it leaves me vulnerable to Tyranitar and Excadrill. Um, so I kind of want to like save Chestnut for those. I could make the Steelix play here, predicting another Gunk Shot. Like I said, I don't know if he has the Flare Blitz or a Fire Move other than Pyro Ball. Um, I don't know what his Fire Move could be. Um, he just went for Gunk Shot. He might have been predicting a oh, Zoomeril there. I think he might have just been predicting a Zoomeril. Which makes sense. Um, alternatively, I could sacrifice a Rotom Heat here. And then try to bring out a Zoomeril safely. That might be a play too. I kind of like that play better because I want to save Chestnut for Tyranitar and Excadrill. I think that's better than letting Chestnut get weak. So, and Rotom Heat is kind of useless now. Um, I mean, it crippled Dusclops, but it's going to take Stealth Rock damage upon switching. Nothing I can do about that. Um, so let's just go Rotom Heat. I think that's a fine play. Let's see if he goes for a fire move here. He actually misses Gunk Shot, so we'll take that. We take those. Um, he could be choiced. He could be... Maybe that's banded. I don't know. I mean, maybe he's scarfed. Maybe he just went for gunk shot again. Uh, I don't know. So... Hmm. I think I volt switch here. I think I just volt switch here. I don't think I need to really, like, overthink this one. He does gunk shot and take us out. That's totally cool. Uh, so we sacrifice Rotom Heat there, that's fine. I can now go Azumarill and threaten this thing out with an Aqua Jet. Or I could go Steelix. Steelix is kind of a nice play. I kind of like Steelix a little bit better. Um, it, I, I, I have a hunch that he might be choiced, but um, I could also go Azumarill. I could also just go Azumarill. Jet pretty freely, though that does invite out Amoongus. That's the problem. Azumarill invites out Amoongus, um, so I'd have to Belly Drum. Do I go Azumarill and Belly Drum now? Does he want to save this? I feel like he probably wants to save this, maybe. Alternatively, I could just make the Steelix play. I mean, Steelix... Mm, no, Steelix is kind of nice, though. Like, it can take a hit from Excadrill or Tyranitar. This is tough. I think I want to try to win with Zapdos, but I have to get the opportunity to click Agility. Like, now with the Spike Up and Dusclops weakened with no Violite, like, Zapdos can potentially just win. I just have to get a free Agility. Um, but yeah, I have to get the right opportunity, so... Um, let's just make the safe Azumarill play, right? I was thinking about going Steelix there, but I don't know if he is in fact choiced. Um, he might not be. 
So, yeah, I think Aqua Jet is safe. Maybe I should have gone Steelix. Let's just Aqua Jet here. He's probably going to go Amoongus. Thinking back on it, I kind of wanted to go Steelix there. Because now he just gets a free Amoongus. And I don't really feel comfortable going for Belly Drum here, because if he stays into just. If he just wants to sacrifice Cinderace, he's just going to gunk shot me and knock me out. So I feel like there's a decent chance he just sacrifices Cinderace here. So, yeah, Steelix might have been better. I don't know. But I am feeling good about uh, potentially winning with Zapdos. I am. And we just have to get the right opportunity to equip agility. And I can do that on a lot of things. I think I can probably do that on Tyranitar or Excadrill from full HP. I can definitely do it on Dusclops if it's locked into Nightshade and not Will-O-Wisp. And if something is already put to sleep, I can probably do it on Amoongus too. So, like, I, I should get the opportunity. Um, but, yeah. We'll just have to see. Uh, we'll have to see. He's thinking about this one, though. I, like, I really want a Belly Drum here, but if he just sacrifices Cinderace, then that's really, really bad for me. But, you know, he could just go free into Amoongus here and eat up my Aqua Jet. And then there's not much I can do. I'd probably go Drapion after that um, and just fodder it to sleep. Greninja is still... Okay, see, he does sacrifice Cinderace. I had a feeling he was just going to sacrifice Cinderace there. It wasn't super useful anymore, really. Um, and he wants to keep the, uh, the momentum up. So, and you know, yeah, if I got a belly drum off, that could have been really bad for him. So he might have just wanted to sacrifice it. So that's good. Azumarill picks off Cinderace. Um, so I'm happy about that. I don't know if, if that thing was banded or scarfed or what, but it's gone now. Um, I'm not sure what he goes into now. Um, I'm not sure what he goes into. Probably Amoongus. More than likely Amoongus. If I had to guess, but we'll see. Um, I'm feeling good about the Zapdos late game, though. I am. I think tricking the Dusclops turn one was definitely the right play, looking back on it. I think it was. I am still very concerned about Greninja, though. Greninja is definitely the biggest threat here. Um, I'm worried about Greninja. And we can't really do anything with Belly Drum until Greninja takes chip damage. Um, so, that's going to be tough. We'll see. He actually decides to go Dusclops, which is interesting. He might be thinking he can lock himself into Will-O-Wisp here, because um, I guess everyone on my team is physical. Um, that's valid. That's like valid reasoning, I suppose. Um, let me just think. Yeah, I'm definitely expecting a Will-O-Wisp here. I mean, he could go for Nightshade. I mean, I have Knockoff, yes. But do I want Azumarill to take the Will-O-Wisp? No, because Aqua Jet, even without the Belly Drum, right, Aqua Jet is great for Excadrill and Tyranitar. Um, so, I definitely want to not just like throw my Azumarill out here and click knockoff because I don't want it to get uh, Will-O-Wisped. I'm leaning towards just switching it to Drapion. If it gets burned, it's not a huge deal because I can Sword Stance and sort of bypass that. Um, that might be my play. Other than that, yeah, I don't want to sack Chestnut to a burn because I want to have that Drain Punch around. I want to keep Steelix at full HP. Um, yeah. Greninja's a huge problem, though. I gotta get the agility 
off before Greninja gets in for free. That's that's for sure. Cause Greninja could just be a huge, huge problem. Uh, let's go. Let's go into Great Beyond here. He does Will O Wisp, so he kind of expected that. I feel like he'll probably switch now. Because um, we know he's Choice Scarf, right? So he's locked into Will O Wisp. We gave him a Choice Scarf. So he all he can do is click Will O Wisp. So like I doubt he stays in. If anything, he probably goes. He might go into Excadrill. He might go into Tyranitar. He could even go Amoongus potentially if he wanted to. Um, I just kind of want to click Taunt to be honest. If he goes Excadrill, it's not a huge deal because I can go Chestnut. Let's go for Taunt here. He goes Tyranitar. Okay, I had a feeling that might be a thing. All we've seen is Stealth Rock from this. Um, I don't know what else it's gonna have. I think Chestnut is a pretty safe play. If he has the Fire Blast, he might go for it now. Um, this could be our opportunity to Let's go Chestnut. Let's just make the Chestnut play. I could have gone Steelix, but um, I think Chestnut is fine. I kind of have a feeling that Excadrill might be carrying like Aerial Ace or something for Chestnut. So I'm a little bit more reluctant to let Chestnut go down. Plus it's already weak. Keeping Steelix at full HP is nice. Um, you know, Chestnut's already at 67, so that's a thing. So yeah, if if like he goes for Fire Blast here, worst case scenario, I think we can just use that as an opportunity to go into Zapdos and click Agility. So I'm not really concerned. Um, he can't Dragon Dance or anything like that because he's taunted. If anything, he just goes for like Stone Edge or Earthquake or something here. Um, he he might even double out. Um, if he doubles into Greninja, that'd be cool. Or like Amoongus or something, that'd be cool. But let's see. I don't know what he's gonna want to do. I'm definitely switching into Chestnut though. I think. Um, I'm I'm still very concerned about Greninja though. Greninja is definitely like his win his win condition. Um, but if I can boost Zapdos' speed before Greninja comes out, then I think I can win. And I'm really just trying to get that opportunity right now. Right now, I'm trying to sack Chestnut and get an opportunity to click agility with Zapdos. That's that's kind of my plan. Because Brave Bird will take out Amoongus, um, Dusclops will die at 50% with no Violate, and Close Combat will take out these three. And I'll be faster than all of them after Agility. So like that's that's looking like how I win here is with Zapdos. But if Greninja comes out um, before Zapdos gets the speed boost, it's going to be really hard for me to take it out because it'll be faster than everything. Okay, so he doubles into Dusclops. Actually doubles into Dusclops. Okay. Um, I should be faster than this, guaranteed. Even though he's scarfed, like I, I should still be faster. And I want to click Taunt. That way he doesn't try to do anything crazy. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna click Taunt. He's just gonna click Taunt here. Let's see what he goes for. He can't use Trick after the Taunt, so he actually has Trick of his own. Interesting. Um, I definitely feel like he goes Amoongus now. Like, I definitely feel like he goes Amoongus now. I kind of want to get up another Spike. I kind of just want to get up another Spike. He can't do anything here. There's nothing he can do here. I taunted him and he's locked into Trick. Maybe, I don't know, maybe he can switch up moves. I'm not sure how the mechanic works. Maybe he can go for Nightshade, but I'm expecting him to probably uh, want to go Amoongus here. I could Super Fang or I could just set up another Spike. Um, I think setting up another Spike is fine, because if he goes into Amoongus, I just follow that up with another Taunt so he can't Spore. 
And then if he knocks me out with the poison move, then I go Zapdos. Hopefully he doesn't have clear smog, though. If he has clear smog, that might be bad. If he has clear smog, that might be bad. Uh, let's just get up under Spike. So he actually stays in. Oh, he can Nightshade. Okay. I wasn't sure how that mechanic worked. He can just go for Nightshade. So this is great, actually. If he just kills us with Nightshade here, I go Zapdos. And I agility. So I'm going to let him do that. I'm going to get up all my spikes. Yep. I'm going to get up all my spikes. Taunt is over. I'm going to taunt him again. I'm not going to click taunt again. Hopefully he knocks us out with Nightshade here. That's what I want him to do. Um, maybe he switches. I don't know. Maybe it's safer for me to just click Drain Punch in case he switches. If he goes into a Moongus, it's honestly fine. But if he goes into Greninja randomly or anything else, really, I want to cover that with a Drain Punch. Because uh, I'm going to outspeed this, right? If I Drain Punch into this and he kills me with a Nightshade, that's fine. I don't care. Actually, well, yeah, because he's locked into Nightshade now. Right? He's Choice Scarfed into Nightshade, so he can only go for Nightshade. If he, if he goes into a Boongus on my Drain Punch, that's fine, because I can follow it up with a Taunt. And then if he kills me, that's fine. I just hope he doesn't have Clear Smog to remove stat boosts. Let's go for Drain Punch here. That's totally cool. Yep. So he's locked into Nightshade. Only thing he can go for is Nightshade, because he's Choice Scarfed. I'm going to go Zapdos. Look at Zapdos' 3D Sprite. Zapdos is a 3D Sprite now. I'm going to click Agility. Um, and then I think we're in a good position to just win. I have enough speed to outspeed a Sand Rush Excadrill. And I think I will just kill everything. He can only go for Nightshade here, because he's Choice Scarf into Nightshade. I don't mind taking that hit. Um, if anything, I just have to watch out for Brave Bird Recoil and Sand Damage. But either, even then, I don't think I can lose to Greninja. Well, it might be close. I don't know. I mean, I have a zoom roll at full HP, though. So. Yeah. Let's see. This is going to be interesting. This one, I feel like this one's going to be close. Like, he could potentially sack Tyranitar first, get Sand up, and then sack Amoongus. I'll take a bunch of Brave Bird Recoil. I think even then, though, I should. Unless he has Water Shuriken. See, I wish I had Play Rough on Azumarill instead I have Belladrum. I should have just gave it Play Rough. God damn it. I don't think Revenge I don't think Steelers can live a hit either. Maybe it can. So yeah, we just go for Nightshade there. I mean he, yeah, we just go for agility. He just goes for Nightshade. That's cool. I'm gonna now proceed to Brave Bird. I have a sharp beak. So this is sharp beak boosted. Doesn't really matter. It's going to kill Dust Claws from this range anyway, because he lost his Inviolate. Yeah, I'm worried about the recoil damage on Amoongus, though. It'll definitely take out Amoongus, even if it's max defense. Um, but yeah, like if he gets the sand up and stuff, I don't know. If he has Shuriken, Water Shuriken on Greninja, then that might be it. But I don't know if he would. I don't know if he would have Water Shuriken on Greninja. Like, what does he really need Water Shuriken for on my team? I don't know. That's, I mean, I have Mega Sceptile. I didn't bring it, though. You know? I don't know why he would feel the need to carry Water Shuriken. He, he very well could have it, though. Um, yeah, I'm hoping and praying that Zapdos just cleans up here. But I'm going to take a lot of recoil damage from Amoongus. I'm going to take sand storm damage from Mega Tyranitar if he goes into that. It's going to be close. It's going to be really close. I'm hoping that specially defensive stealers can live one surf from Greninja. 
I feel like it can't, though, honestly. I feel like it can't. Maybe if I get off a knockoff first on it. So yeah, he does go Tyranitar first. I feel like that was the correct play, because now his Sandstorm is up. I am just going to click Close Combat. Um, there's no reason for me to not click Close Combat here. If he wants to go Amoongus, like, fine. If he wants to play that game, um, he, might, he might think that's the play. Um, it could be. I don't know. But either way, I'm going to go for Close Combat here. Not really going to think twice about it. He does go Amoongus. Okay. That's fine. Because I just follow this up now with a Brave Bird. Um, yeah, I'm going to take less Red Coil now. So let's go Brave Bird. Let's just go for Brave Bird. If he goes back into Tyranitar, like, we'll just keep attacking what's in front of us. He can't really win this exchange, even with Regenerator, because I have three layers of spikes up. That's why the spikes are so great here. Hopefully Zapdos does this. I'm just going to kill Amoongus here with Brave Bird if he stays in. I'm hoping he stays in. I'm hoping that he just stays in. I should take, like, some recoil, but not a ton. Like, if he switches back and forth, just trying to get me to take Sandstorm damage... And then more recoil, then he might get me low enough, maybe, to die to Sandstorm damage plus recoil. And then try to win, win with Greninja. I feel like that's like his only way of winning at this point. Like even a Choice Scarf Greninja can't outspeed me, I don't think. I'm at 606 speed. You can only get 377 max, so that's not enough. And like unless he has Water Shuriken after these special defense drops. And then he can take me out, but like I'll guarantee outspeed Excadrill. So yeah. Like I feel like his only play here is to switch back and forth and let me take a bunch of sandstorm damage and recoil and then maybe try to take me out. But I don't even know if that'll be enough. So that's that does look like what he's going for here, but those spikes are helping me immensely. Those spikes are helping me immensely. Um I think my play here is to just go for the Stomping Tantrum, because I don't want to take the extra chip on uh, Brave Bird. If he goes back out into Amoongus, then like, so be it. Actually, I, I might as well just go for Brave Bird here, because if he goes out into Amoongus, then like that's fine. Actually, I don't think it really matters. I don't know if I'm in range to... Uh, No, close combat is still the play. Like, if he has Water Shuriken, I'm in range of it already, so close combat is the play. I'm just going to go for close combat. If he goes out into Amoongus again here, then that that's probably what he'll do, honestly. You know, I'm just going to go for Brave Bird again. He just sacks it. It's fine. I lost, like, one HP. So he might be able to do it here with the recoil. I am just going to fire off a Brave Bird. Um, ooh, if he sacks Excadrill here, can Amoongus beat me? Hmm. I have Belly Drum. Plus Taunt. Well, that's not helpful because he can kill me. This is tough. Like, Zapdos is really the only thing I have that can take out Amoongus. Like, I... The fact that Drapion is burned means that, like, I have to Swords Dance a bunch before I could probably take it out. And he still has Greninja. Um, I 
feel like he probably goes into Excavate here. Because last time, Close Combat only did 25 to Amoongus. So, yeah. Like, I honestly think he just goes Excavate here and then tries to save Amoongus. Because Amoongus definitely beats Azumarill. I don't think Steelix can beat Amoongus, especially if it has Spore. I mean, if it has Spore... Like, Drapion can probably beat it. Probably. But the fact that he still has Greninja is just, like, so scary. I really wish I had a freaking play rough on Azumarill, man. I was, I'm kicking myself. I thought Belly Drum would be the move. But I don't know. I don't know. I think I should go for close combat here, because I really think he's going to go Excadrill and save Amoongus. Because if I go for Brave Bird here and he goes into Excadrill, I'll take a bunch of I'll take a decent amount of recoil and then like at least two more turns of Sandstorm. And then like that could just be it for me. Oh man. Brave Bird might be my safer play though, because I don't think I don't think so Excadrill comes in here. I don't think Brave Bird... It does, like... It might do, like, 25 to 40%. And then, like... That shouldn't kill me even after the Sandstorm. And then I can go for it again. I hope. Like, I'm hoping it's a, just a 2 KO on Excadrill. But I don't die to the Recoil plus Sandstorm. But I don't know. That's ideal. The other play is I try to catch him with a close combat here. And I think I have to make that play. But if he stays in, then I lose. So I think Brave Bird is safe. Let's just go for Brave Bird. Yeah, so he stays in. Cool. Almost overthought that one. But I do just take out Amoongus there. So, yes. So to recap... We take out Amoongus with Brave Bird. I was concerned he would go into Excadrill to try to preserve Amoongus. I almost clicked Close Combat on the over prediction, but I just went for the safe Brave Bird. Take out Amoongus. That's great because Zapdos was really the only thing we had at that point to take out Amoongus. Amoongus would have beaten that Azumarill and definitely Steelix. But now it's 3v2, and this is going to be close. Um, this is going to be tough. Uh, Greninja is still alive and well. Um, I think Drapion is pretty useless, um, to be honest. I feel like I want to just go with Zumaril. Steelix can live one hit. Oh, I want to say Steelix can, Steelix can live a hit from Greninja, but I don't know if it can, man. How do I not lose to Greninja here is the question. How do I... I mean... The good news is they're all going to take three layers of spike, so they're going to come in at like 70%. That's good. Uh, Aqua Jet should be able to take out Excadrill. Um, Drapion should is probably just going to lose to both of them. Um, though if Sand isn't up, I will outspeed Excadrill. I think I'd go into Steelix here and just body press. If he goes Greninja, I pray that Steelix lives a hit. Because I don't really have another play. Or I go Azumarill. Maybe I go Azumarill. Because Azumarill probably lives any hit from Greninja. Even if it's Gunk Shot, right? I should live a Gunk Shot. At least one from Greninja. And I knock it off, I think. So that way I hope that Steelix lives a hit after. I think that's my play. I think that's what I have to do. I think I go Azumarill here. This is really tough. This is really tough, though. He probably assumes that my Azumarill has a fairy move to hit Greninja. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that Greninja can't hit Azumarill unless it has Gunk Shot. But even if it has Gunk Shot, it's not going to do anything. And Aqua Jet will definitely take out Excadrill. So he's probably thinking, how do I beat Azumarill? In my head, I'm like, how do I beat Greninja? Uh, the good news is I have an extra sack in Drapion. So this should be advantageous to me. And I think Azumarill is definitely my choice here. 
like without a doubt. If Greninja is like Life Orb, or like God forbid Specs, there's no way Steelix lives a hit. I doubt it. So I need to get a knockoff on Greninja first before I try to beat it with Steelix. Drapion will probably just die to anything Greninja puts forward at this point. Everything is going to take, this thing's going to take 12% upon switching. It's only going to be at 40%. Um, you know, this is only going to be at like 75. So it's like, uh, it's tough. I think I go definitely go with Zumero here though. He goes Excadrill. So that's kind of what I was expecting. And I definitely just Aqua Jet. I think it should kill. I think. I mean, I don't really have another play, though. There's, I, I, sh I shouldn't risk Liquidation, because if he kills me with Earthquake, that's bad. I just go for Aqua Jet. If he goes Greninja, so be it. That's good chip damage. Um, if he goes Greninja, then so be it, right? That's fine. So we don't see Mold Breaker, so it looks like he actually was Sand Rush. Which is interesting. I would have thought he would have brought Mold Breaker for Red and Heat. But he, he is Sand Rush, it looks like. Totally fine. Totally fine. Um, he does switch into Greninja, okay. So let's see, this is good chip damage. Sandstorm? No, oh no, Sandstorm, okay. So I think I should live anything he goes for here, and I should be able to just knock off. Like, the only thing that can potentially knock me out is, like, a Life Orb Gunk Shot, I think. If he's, like, physical. Right? If I let Azumarill go down here, am I going to lose to Excadrill? Is it better for me to sack Drapion here? Steelix can definitely live any hit from Excadrill, without a doubt. So, if he's, let's assume, he, worst case scenario, he has Gunk Shot, and it can take us out here. Um, then, if, he, if Gunk Shot does take us out here, I know that he's physical and not special, and Steelix should be able to live any hit. So then I can follow that up with going into Steelix and just clicking Body Press, and probably winning. Though Excadrill might clean up after. Because Drapion is burned. I don't think Drapion can knock it out with a knockoff. But if if Greninja is special, which it probably is, there's no way it can take out Azumarill here. And I should be able to get at least one knockoff plus Aqua Jet off. Alternatively, no. Because if... I, the Alternatively, do I go Drapion here to sacrifice it? Well, if he's physical, then that would work. But if he's special, then that won't work. Because then it doesn't get me anywhere. Steelix can't live a hit from special Greninja. So I think I have to stay in here and just go for knockoff. I think I don't have a choice. He is Gunk Shot. He takes us out. Okay. So this is actually going to come down to the wire. If I went for Drapion, if I went Drapion there, it probably would have been better for me. Um, the Life Orb Gunk Shot. I said that too. The only way he can take us out is Life Orb Gunk Shot. If I went Drapion, it probably would have been better there for us because we, we, we still would have had Aqua Jet in the back. But this should mean that Steelix can live any hit. This should mean that Steelix can live any hit and just fire off a body press. Um, if he's mixed with. Okay, yeah, Waterfall. Okay. Now it just comes down to can Steelix live an Earthquake? I don't know. If he's banded, no. I don't know what item this thing has. Excadrill, I, I mean, Drapion outspeeds this, but, like, I don't think it can take it out. So, yeah. I just have to hope Steelix can survive this. I feel like it might. Steelix has 436 defense. Let's go, Steelix. I have to pray. I just have to pray that I live... This has been a really close game either way, though. GG. I think I played this the best the way that I could. Um, I mean, if I sacked Drapey on there, that would have been smarter. But like I said, if he was just like a standard special Greninja, there wasn't anything I could do because I didn't have play rough on Azumarill. 
So I had to make that play and risk him having gunk shot. But let's see if Steelers can clutch this versus Excadrill. He's probably calping this right now. I don't know. I'm nervous. This has been a really close game, though. This has been a really good game. I feel like one of the longer games I've had. I don't know how many minutes this has been. But yeah. That Greninja was scary. It did turn out being physical. I feel like it would be for Azumarill. I felt like it would have been for Azumarill. Ah, just click Earthquake! Oh my god. I'm sweating. Come on. Come on. Just click Earthquake. I'm going to close my eyes and hope I live. I can't. I can't. What is taking so long? Just click Earthquake. Please. Oh, Steelix dies here. That's so sad. Oh my god. No! Wow. GG. Okay. Honestly, great game, though. Like... If I, if I sacked Drapion on the gunk shot from Greninja, I might have lived, but I, I mean, I would have died to two. And then I could have gone Steelix after that and clicked Body Press and still would have had Azumarill right now. And then I think I would have won guaranteed. But um, either way, like, great game. Like, like I said, this was a must win for him to have a shot at still being in playoffs. I think I'm still going to be in playoffs either way. So um, I'm not too concerned, but like, yeah, great game. And we can't kill because we're burned. Please focus, Sash. So GG. Indeed. All right. Well, yeah, thanks, you guys, for watching. Um, close battle, indeed. It really came down to it at the end there with the 3v2. Um, but he played that really well. Um, I should have used my Drapion sack. But, uh, you know, you, I, you live and learn. I live and learn every battle. Um, I was hoping Zapdos could have won, but he, he played it really well switching between Amoongus and Tyranitar to make me take the most recoil and Sandstorm damage so that he could take me out. Um, and that was really smart on him to save the, the Excadrill in the back with Greninja to be able to beat me um, at the end. So I think he played that exactly how he needed it to. Um, I could have done a few things differently. I could have sacked the Drapion, like I said. You know, really, I think that was the best thing I could have done. I could have belly drummed with earlier with Azumarill, but I don't think it would have gotten me anywhere. I wish I had play rough on Azumarill instead of belly drum. I think it would have paid off here. But, GG. Uh, thank you guys for watching. In the meantime, uh, you know, happy new year. Happy 21, 2021. Um, remember, go out there, you know, set goals for yourself, uh, and make this year, make this year great. It's all about personal growth. I love you. Catch